welcome to this brand new series on react.js so basically this series is for beginners and intermediate level developers and this is the introductory part in this playlist and in this introduction video we will discuss about what is react.js why should you learn react.js and what are the prerequisite or what is the tech stack we need to learn before to start react.js so the point is what is react.js react.js is an open source javascript based library to create the user interface so with the help of the react.js we can create dynamic ui and another point is that react.js is not a framework it is a library many developers think that it is a framework but it's not correct it is an open source javascript based library and with this library we can build a rich user interface rich user that means we can provide such ui which is more helpful to the user and where user can navigate throughout our application in a more simple way react is a large ecosystem there are millions of followers on the github and stack overflow which make which makes it large ecosystem and on these platforms we can get any solution of the any problem in the react js with the help of the react js we can also create this single page application where single page application means we will create only one single html page and there are the multiple components we we have to upload in our dom and these multiple components are re-rendered and these components are created in the react js now the next point is why we need to understand react js so react js is a huge community as we discussed earlier huge community on the github and stack overflow where we can get support on the react js and the react js is created and maintained by the company name facebook so you can get an idea that if react js is created by facebook so its value will never down in the future and it is also in demand skill set if you know about react js then you can land a good front end developer job in the market and react is a component based architecture so with the help of the react js we can create multiple components and with the help of these components we can create a complex ui so we have to tell the react how the ui should be look like react will build the actual ui so basically we according to our requirement we have to think how our ui will be look like react will build that actual ui react also handle the re-rendering and updating of the components internally so basically we have to create components in react js and in the dom these components are re-rendered and updated that work is done by the react js and these components are updated very efficiently means in milliseconds these components are updated in the dom our next point is what is the flexibility in react js so in the react js we can integrate this library in any type of the project it is not mandatory that we can use this library in one specific type of the project either a part of the project or the entire project we can build using the react js so it's not mandatory that the entire project will be created in the react js if we want to, if we want to create a small part of the project in the react js we can also do that so it's basically more flexible in terms of the integration and if we have to build mobile application with the help of the react so we have to use react native not a react js so with the help of the react js we can build web application and our next point is that what is the tech stack required to learn react js 
so to learn react.js we should know about the basic concept of html css and javascript and in html like you should know about the tag elements and the basic syntax format and in the javascript we should know about the ECMAScript 6 concept like arrow function, let and const, rest and spread operator, object letter, etc. etc. And the array and string methods in the JavaScript. So we should know about these things before to start React.js. So what is the flow of this course? So in this course, we will understand the basic concept of the React.js and in every video we will talk about the important interview question about the routing concept what are the hooks lifecycle methods in react.js what are the type of the components like functional component or class component redux and many more things so we will learn and understand about these topics in this course so thank you for watching this video and please like share and subscribe so if you want to learn and understand the react just from basic so this is a good platform for you and stay tuned for more videos thank you guys